Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Still thinking about Nikon Mirrorless. Uh, There's a lot of information floating around. The new teaser site has uh, generated a lot of interest. A lot of talk about the new Z-mount and what it can and can't do, what it means to Nikon going forward and the abilities to bring new lenses to the new mirrorless cameras. Um, we've got a bunch of new inf or interesting information. Uh, not necessarily new, it's kind of a roundup of things that have been out there. Some of it's a little newer, some of it's just a little older. So let's call this you know, a summary of what we currently think we're about to get, what we currently think we know at the moment um, based on uh, rumors that are not necessarily, that are more like valid rumors, you know, where there's smoke, there's fire type thing. Um, the biggest thing here is probably um, that of interest anyways, is I don't think we've discussed this a lot, but uh, potential names. Um, these are uh, possibly not, uh, they could just be a guess, but I've heard them a few places. Nikon Rumors has listed them. The Z300 and Z500 potential names for the two new full-frame Nikon mirrorless. We're expected to get a 45 megapixel and a 24 megapixel if the information we have so far, the rumors, the leaks, the uh, whatnot is, is correct. So you would think probably, um, I don't even know which one of those would be the higher resolution. You would think probably the Z500 would be the 45, the Z300 would be the 24 megapixel. Hard to say for sure. That would probably be my guess. Um, don't mind those names at all. Be nice. This is a good opportunity for Nikon to straighten out the naming in the naming system because a lot of people are confused on where all the different cameras fit in and, and where it goes. Uh, actually, on that front, same with Canon when they as they're redoing the mirrorless system, straighten out the nomenclature or the the name structure in the lineup here. What else? Um, we know that they're going to be targeting they've even said they are the sony a7 lineup so we can expect um that it's to com compete with to combat those cameras so along those lines um similar uh, size cameras uh so obviously with nikon i would expect better ergonomics and better grips and things like that sony tends to make a little bit more of a brick of a camera that's a computer it works very well very good performing cameras but i'm not generally a big fan of sony uh, design and ergonomics i think that's probably um, some of their downside and i guess they were never a camera company to start with so maybe that's why we see that um, we know that we, we've heard that the battery life isn't going to be as good we've also heard a rumor that they may actually use existing DSLR batteries. So it'll be interesting to see how that works. You still could have worse battery life with the same battery in a mirrorless that you would have from a DSLR. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what happens there. Um, where we've heard possibility that there's only one selection wheel on the top of the camera. May or may not happen. Uh, what else have we heard? Um, there's debate about whether or not it's got a built-in flash. Possibly maybe the, the lower camera could have a flash and the higher one doesn't in other words the 45 megapixel mirrorless flagship let's call it the z500 may not have a built-in flash similar to pro higher end bodies maybe the z300 we get one similar to say what's on a d5 uh, d7500 for instance um what else we have here features um um there is a second lcd screen on the top of the camera we've seen leaked photos that indicate that I'd be surprised if at this point that's not true i mean some of the leaked photos show it so it'd be kind of strange unless we're looking at a camera that was a prototype that isn't actually representative of what we're getting um a good evf and um i would expect that probably something in the level of 3.5 3.6 um I guess megapixels or or dots per whatever, um, but you know a higher level level higher resolution EVF, not a not a lower one. These are two full frame cameras coming out from Nikon. Again, I think Nikon's going to hit it out of the park here, so I don't think we're going to see anything disappointing in that sense. So um, most interesting that I hadn't really paid attention to or hadn't really noted before was the Z three hundred and Z five hundred rumors for the names. I think that's interesting fits with the Z mount, I could see them going to Z cameras um, rather than calling them M, like Canon's already going with M for mirrorless. Why not go with the name of your mount? So we've got the new Z mount. So what about a Z300 and a Z500? What do you guys think? Um, do you like 
the idea of those names, the Z300, the Z500? Um, do you think that it fits with the fact that we have the Z mount? What do you think about the rest of the information? Are you happy with what we're hearing? Do you, are you expecting, as I am, that we're going to be getting a killer set of mirrorless cameras from Nikon here? I think Nikon's, I think Nikon's going to knock these out of the park. I think we're all going to be very impressed with these cameras. Um, there's always a small subset of people that are never impressed, but I think these are in general are going to be very, very impressive cameras. Do you guys agree with me? Are you happy with what we're seeing? Do you think these are going to be good? Or do you disagree? If so, what don't you like? Where, well, what is it that you're hearing that you're not impressed with? Have you already just moved on and you're not going to even entertain it? Let us know in the comments below um, where your thoughts are on this. Um, it's just been a lot of fun talking about the new mirrorless uh, from Nikon. Uh, as I've said before, no matter what Nikon brings out, I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to cause Canon to take notice, maybe affect what they release, going to be some direct competition to Sony. It's going to be good for all of us as shooters, competition in the industry, etc., etc. So curious to hear what you guys have to say. Looking forward to seeing your comments below. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We will continue on. Uh, well, as you can tell, I'm pumped about the new Nikon mirrorless. So we're going to be discussing it up until the time it comes out. Um, it's fun and uh, interesting, and I can't wait to get my hands on them. Thanks, folks. Talk to you soon.